guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Let's build a glow squid farm. Now, the glow squid farm is actually really easy to build. This is not a fully automatic farm, but it is a fun farm and you will get consistent glow squids like this. And you're also going to get ocelotls. I think that's how you say it, right? Ocelotl? You're gonna get those guys. So, anyway, uh, what we are going to do is swim down to the ocean floor. So you need to be out in an ocean, break the floor, and lay down some soul sand. We're creating a bubble elevator to get us going. Next to the soul sand, build up a column. We're going to build up all the way to level 150. That just makes it far enough away that stuff down there starts to despawn, and that way fish up here will spawn as will squids, but you will see how we get the glow squids in just a minute. Now come down here to the bottom where the soul stand is and build up again, another column, all the way up to 150. And do that one more time over here on this side. Oops. The fun part about this is going to be when you get up here to the top and survival is jumping off again, all the way down to the bottom. Then you're going to take some glass and I would place it about right here. We're kind of making a door um, that you're gonna be able to get in. You can enter in the column here or go up higher, and then you're going to build glass all the way up. I do this so I can see out. And let's make this last one smooth stone like the rest. Take a bucket of water, place it there, jump down all the way to the bottom. Lots of jumping in this build. We're waiting on the water to come down, but what we are going to do is lay down a block right here. There's our water. And you are going to need a ton of kelp. Good thing you're in the ocean. And you just plant this kelp all the way to the top. That makes all of these source blocks. So now all of those are source blocks. You jump down one more time. And you're going to break this block that makes everything in this thing a bubble elevator so that you can just float on up to the top. Now, you could just use a ladder, but we're gonna be going up and down a lot in this build, so I highly suggest the bubble elevator. So this is gonna be the corner of our build. We're gonna take some blocks, place them like this, and then from this corner, we're gonna build out 40 blocks that way. I know that seems like a lot. You could make this smaller, but I feel like 40 makes it more productive. So one, two. So we built 40 blocks out that way. Now we're gonna go 40 blocks this way. One, two, three. Okay, now that you have the two sides, you need to fill this in making a square. Good luck, that's a ton of blocks, have fun. Okay, after you have your 40 by 40 square, come to the side and build up the edge right here all the way around and then make that one more block tall okay come to the opposite corner of your bubble elevator break these four blocks then lay down a button here 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 and here now you will need two buckets of water for this part all you have to do is place a bucket of water there and then do another one there and then you're gonna have to grab from the middle so you skipped a block placed one grab from the middle Place one, grab from the middle, place one. That way you always have infinite water. Place infinite water all along one edge. And then you can actually do that along this other edge and that water will spread all over the platform. There you go, and you'll already start to see things forming. Now I wanna give more opportunity for things to spawn up here. So I'm going to do that again on the second row. Now, let me show you how this thing works. Um, I suggest having a looting three sword. And if you want, uh, carry some empty buckets with you so you can get the ocelotls. Um, up here, you're going to get squid, dolphins, fish. Look at how many fish you get. And honestly, this is a fun way to have a fish farm. I mean, making this automatic is good too, but look, you just swim around and hit the fish. It's kind of fun. So that's what you're gonna get up here, but down below, you have a shaded area. And in that shaded area, okay, for some reason we have water going down, that's not supposed to happen. This, this, there we go. Yeah, you're supposed to have kind of a escape hatch here. 
So you swim down and then you just fall down. Now down here, because of the shadow, because of the darkness, you're going to get glow squids and not normal squids. They like darkness. So when you get the glow squids, you just fall down here, swim over to them, hit them a couple times, they'll drop their glow sacks. And also down here, if you swim down far enough and wait long enough, you're going to get ocelotls as well. Look, there's one over here. So you get your bucket, swim over, catch him, you're good to go. Now, if you want them to come to you, an easy way to do that is to have a bucket of tropical fish and they will come to you when they spawn. So when you jump back down here, uh, they'll spawn. Now, let me do this in survival so that you guys can see this in action. I'm gonna get rid of everything except my looting three sword and some empty buckets. And basically what's gonna happen because you're swimming around um, and coming away from here is you're gonna be able to kill glow squids down here and they will respawn. It's a big enough shadow area that they'll respawn on their own, but sometimes it takes them a while. So what I do is I come over here and since they're not spawning down here right now, I'm gonna go to my elevator and go up, swim around up here just for a minute, let some stuff spawn. Again, kind of a fun way to fish. Ooh, just watch out for the dolphins. They actually attack you if you hit them on accident. Okay, sometimes you will get normal squids up here too. And then you swim over to your little escape hatch, fall down, and as you fall down, you will notice more glow squids have spawned down here. You go over and hit them, and they drop their glow sacks. Let's see if we can find an ocelot. They like the shade too. Um, you will not always find them, however. There's an ocelot. They attack fish, by the way, it's kind of funny. Ooh, there's two of them. All right, guys, there you go. That is how you do a glow squid and ocelot farm. Very easy to do, and plus you get tons of bones and fish as well. And if I'm being honest, it's just fun to hunt fish this way. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. And as always, thanks for watching.